I guess God wanted me to be a hairstylist this whole time and I just didn't see it until now, y'all, because what is going on? I mean, unprofessional hairstylists that just half-ass do their jobs and pff, it's just getting out of hand at this point. <laughs> As y'all can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about like my experience that I had with a specific hairstylist, or it's going to be like a story time, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I'm gonna just jump right in, y'all, okay? Because this stressed me out. Well, little backstory so you guys, I don't really get my hair done at the shop or anything, I rarely do. Like, if I'm getting my hair done, it's either been like for faux locks or it's just been to get it like straightened. But for a long time prior to this, I haven't gotten my hair done because I don't really trust people in my hair. I'm pretty iffy about it and I guess the story will like justify reasons why I feel that way honestly. So yeah, basically for a long time I was looking for a hairstylist that can specialize in natural hair, right? And my mom has said, you know, somebody at her job went to this lady. So she found this lady that was like, you know, nearby and she put me on and so I booked an appointment after doing like a consultation over the phone, sending her pictures of my hair and stuff. This was around the time of my birthday, y'all, so I needed my hair saved real bad because, you know, I wasn't about to be out on my birthday looking crazy. So I booked the appointment with the lady and everything was good. So come the day of my appointment, I show up and to my surprise, she's caught off guard and she's surprised when I walked in because she's looking at my hair like, damn, your shit's not detangled and I'm like, well, I wasn't aware that it needed to be detangled. You said you were gonna wash and straighten it. So I thought that was a part of the, the process, you know? Like I thought that was a part of everything. So anyway, she was just like, yeah, um, no. So typically my clients, they come in with their hair already detangled. So just for future references, you know that. And she was just like, so you can just sit down right there and you can start detangling your hair. Y'all, I have to keep it together because honestly, I'm really unproblematic as a person. I'm really quiet, but that really ticked me off. Like, I was just like, what? <laughs> I know she did not tell me to go sit over here and detangle my hair while I'm at my appointment that I plan on paying for. Like, I'm not understanding. Sorry guys, if I'm sounding weird or if I'm talking weird or whatever, I have my retainers in and it really just is so hard to talk with them. Like I keep stumbling over my words, but yeah. Anyways, back to the story. So I'm sitting over here like shocked as ever, but I take the comb and I just start detangling my hair. Mind you guys, I will say my hair was fucked up. Like my hair was like not combed out in like, I don't know how long, it was damn near matted. So I understand she was probably looking at it like, damn, I don't wanna deal with that. I don't even wanna tame that. So I'm gonna let you take care of that. So I was mad. I was over here like, damn, like, okay. <laughs> what was the point of this appointment? I could have did this at home then, you know what I mean? And she's seen I was struggling. She's seen I was struggling. And she was just like, you know what? It's your first time here. You didn't know or whatever. I'm gonna help you because I see like you struggling basically. So she gets to helping me detangle my hair, y'all. But as she starts detangling it, I shouldn't even call it detangling it. As she starts combing my hair out, whatever you wanna call it, she's literally combing it out. She's yanking my shit. Like no patience at all. And just like, it's just like an unprofessional service that I'm feeling. And this is just literally my t first 20 minutes into being at her salon for the first time. You know, like from that moment, the first 20 minutes of being in there, I just knew I wasn't coming back. Like I knew I wasn't coming back, but I wasn't gonna make her feel uncomfortable or anything. I wasn't gonna make her feel uncomfortable how I felt uncomfortable. I was just like, you know what? I know I'm not stepping foot back in here because um, it's a no for me. And then it's just like, I can't, I was stuck the whole time on the fact that she told me that I needed to detangle my hair. The fact that, no. She could have said that, you know, for future references, but the fact that she had me sit down and detangle my hair myself and then decided, okay, later on, she gonna help. It was just, that was it for me. That was the icing on the cake. I was like, hell no, I am not coming back here. Nada, nada. And then the fact that she don't even know how to detangle, like she was yanking my hair out. You know how when you detangle y'all, you're supposed to section it off like to your best. I know my hair was like probably a little matted so she couldn't section it that much, but at least work your way from the ends and then gradually work your way up. 
you know just go slow go gentle and just work your way up so there's minimal breakage and minimal shedding and stuff no this lady is straight from the root trying to like pull my hair and of course it's yanking because it's not finger through hair baby like sis like anybody can see that so what are you doing and yes it hurted and i'm not even tender-headed and that shit hurted like she was yanking my hair like my hair was like and then i just kept trying to hold it and it just kept like you know going and just going off to the side and i'm like this is not okay and then at the end of her combing my hair out she says to me you see this she's like you see this you see this this is what happens when you don't comb your hair out so she's basically damn near like talking down on me damn near scolding me or trying to just tell me like yeah this is your fault this is what happens when you don't comb your hair out so yeah she was like you gotta comb your hair out. like sis like i know i have to comb my hair out you know this is not a regular thing but you know stuff happens okay like my hair ended up you know being put on the back burner i neglected it for a little you know and i decided to make an appointment with a professional hairstylist that specializes in natural hair and she was supposed to do what i'm paying her to do the whole nine and she wanted to do half-ass work but get fully paid for it so like what are you saying to me sis i just i didn't understand i don't understand i don't understand bitch i don't understand So, um, yeah, anyways, we move on past that and she just ends up, you know, like washing my hair and stuff and she ends up conditioning it and we're talking like normal, but you know, like I'm the type of person that, you know, you show me something one time and I hold on to that. So in my mind, the whole time we're talking, I am remembering in the back of my mind, like this encounter, like the first 20 minutes of what I experienced in the shop. And I'm just like, hell no, can't wait to leave. I am not coming back. But yeah, she did a nice job. Like, you know, she straightened my hair or whatnot, but it wasn't nothing I couldn't do it at home because she used a flat iron. She didn't use like the professional um, iron tools. Like, you know how they have like the, um, the, the professional curling iron? I don't know, like the heavy ones. Yeah, she used like a flat iron. And I mean, honestly, I'm not trying to downplay her work or anything, um, but my hair frizzed up like the same day, like later on, honestly. And it could have been, and it could have been just because of the humidity because when it's humid outside, my hair honestly goes from this to this like in five seconds. So that's what happened. And I was just like, wow, I basically wasted my money and I had like a bad experience and I really just didn't enjoy it at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And the thing is, I was really excited initially for her because I knew for one, like I said, she is specialized in natural hair. For two, she was like older, so I figured she was a part of like the old school hairstyle generation type of thing. And I was just like, you know what? I know they do things different. And they're usually more inclined to deal with like natural hair versus weave and extensions and stuff. So I really had like high standards for her and she like let me down. And I don't even know if she knows she let me down and I'm really not gonna say any names, but it hurt my feelings. So, yeah, y'all, that's that story. <laughs> Have any of you guys experienced any, like, bad encounters with hairstylists that y'all want to share in the comments down below? Let me know, you know, let me know. Um, I don't know if you would call her unprofessional in the sense, because it wasn't like she had an attitude or it wasn't like she was late or anything. As a matter of fact, I think I was, like, three to five minutes late. And she was very understanding of that, you know? It didn't matter to her. She didn't have nobody else in the shop that she was working on at the same time. It was just me. And this was like during COVID, honestly. This was sometime last year, y'all. But yeah, um, I don't know if you would call it unprofessional, but I'ma just say it was slightly unprofessional just for the half-ass service. And never again, never again, y'all but yeah um that pretty much wraps up this video if you guys want to see a part two um i can do a part two video on just like hairstylists in general and just talk about like things i don't like about these new age hairstylists that they do and these unprofessional hairstylists and we can kind of just go on a rant but yeah 
that could be like a separate video because this one's already kind of long i feel like but yeah yeah i'll see you guys in my next one hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below hit the post notification bell so you never miss when i post and let me know what you guys want to see next all right love you guys bye Mwah.